Yeah. Turn back out. Did you get anything? You shouldn't be judging them. And people do. You know, seven seconds, was it five seconds? They judge you for how you speak, how you act, your posture, how you interact, and how you connect. And in those five seconds or seven seconds, it makes a big difference to someone's perception, judgment of you. And I've always have had a love of books, but I never really got into them as much as I wish I did. And every time I picked up a book, I'd go, oh, what is this book I like? I found him. There you found him. Good. He's behind the cow, this one. If you remember this cat's page, he's never behind a cow somewhere. Thanks, hey. Chanel. But yeah, I used to find books and go, I want to read what this is. Is this usually the title capture me or somebody recommending me to read a book? Found him. <clears throat> oh, good stuff, Chanel. I'm a tree. Look, she's doing it really fast because she remembers where it is. <laughs> I already read this book before. You have, you have. But yeah, no, with, with people, I never judged people by their looks, but I have an inclination of kind of what are they, Fountains. what sort of a person they were. Fountains. And Fountains. obviously give them more of their, yep, I can help them. I was able to help them. Um, sort of an attitude that way, which, you know, worked out well for me because if you have a judgmental or bad perception of somebody, you can misjudge anybody completely. But deep down, there's somebody out there that we don't know in terms of the pain and struggles. And we should have more empathy for people. But give them the chance, give them the opportunity to shine, show themselves, and make a judgment form for yourself, whether they should be in your circle or not. Mountain. You found another one. On the roof. On the roof. Found him, he's in like this picture book. I know. So the picture That's card. Him. That's him. And he must be where is he? Mm, I see him. Where do you see him? I see him. I see him too. Right there. Good stuff. What now? 
Can you get another book? Yes. Can you get another book? Go. Can you know, you God chip? made... Yes, you can have a chip. Yay. God made us all different. Very different. Black, white, yellow. You know, just, you know, different hair colours, different height, different body size. And I wonder why. I wonder why God created us this way. And it is for us to understand that if we were perfect looking, if we were in an ideal world, for me, beauty is in the inside. But for some people, they obviously have to... I mean, there is a certain level that I do see people in a way in terms of, you know, what is a good body weight, size weight. As long as I see them, they're healthy, they're happy and they're comfortable with their look. You know, that's to me, that's really important. But how caring and supportive they are and how inspiring they are. So looks isn't all that, but we're... To me, this is our body shell, we're a vehicle, and our and we're not having a human experience. We're having, we're spirit having an, a human experience in a human body. Instead of a, having a human body, well, what's that? How do you say that? Human, exp, we're not having a human experience. No, we're in a human body having a spiritual experience. So it's the other way around. So. I am a spirit having a human experience, if that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in a body shell. I have a message or a gift that's in here underneath me, and I'm just using this body to get me to where I need to, to deliver myself to that person, to connect to that other person. But people judge. And if you do have, you know, looks, obviously that's a plus, that's a bonus. Um, a lot of us fall in love on the fact that, you know, they're funny or they're just caring, or they're supportive, or there's something that we choose to be acquainted and connected with. And this thing about, you know, being attracted by looks is, yeah, somewhat of a level of importance to us. It is. And you do want to wake up to somebody that's that's appealing to your eye, I suppose. That's, <laughs> that's what it is. But yeah, we're all different shapes and sizes and I just think that we're all beautiful in our own ways. So never judge a book by its cover. I believe we all have a look, type, feel, style that we just want to express in this body and we just know, need to know how to flaunt it better. So yeah, beauty's deep underneath the skin. Deeper than we see it. <laughs> anyway guys, thanks for tuning in. You're back! Come show me. Come show me. Oh, Chanel's got another book. A Walk in the Bush. Are we going to read that to her?